Hey guys, Lewis here. Um, so for the uh, good conversation, I put a lady, you know, going, uh, yes, uh, it is showing happiness. Um, and obviously, whenever you have a good conversation, whether it be with your family members, um, you know, a recruiter, a teacher, uh, your boss, I always feel happy about that, right? Um, when I have a good conversation, you know, I, I look at different things, right? It has to be interactive. That's what a conversation is. There has to be a back and forth um, as opposed to just me talking or listening. Um, and that kind of goes on to something that I could improve on uh, is listening because I'm, I'm great at, 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 uh, at listening, you know, in terms of I won't talk over you or anything like that. But holding those things um, when it comes to decoding the message, right? I'm not that good at that. For instance, the name, whenever someone tells me their name, my instinct is just to t say my name, um, as opposed to putting it in my head and remembering uh, the person's name. Um, something else that I could definitely improve with um, when I'm speaking uh, is to slow, my, slow myself down. Uh, sometimes I feel like, you know, for instance, in showcase, um, there's so many people to talk to only about two or three hours that really you go to um, and then you want to talk fast move on to the next person um, but I would say probably the the tone and and, and the volume and and the, and the speed that I use when speaking um, have to be adjusted based on the person um, and a good a good communication you know it's just good body language the person smiling while talking to me um, you know, going on to uh, or broadening the subject right so if i'm talking about something it's not it's not a yes or no answer that's something that you know when we go to showcase or we're talking with recruiters um some people tell you yes no and you know that's that's a sign of of someone that doesn't really want to talk to me and that's leading into a, a bad communication or unclear communication um obviously for the meme i have michael from the office kind of crying um, and, you know, it, it sucks because uh, it might have been my body language, um, you know, uh, my eye contact, things like that, that kind of like set them off. Um, and it sucks because, you know, something like showcase has to do with your future, your future job, future career. So you always want to have a good conversation. Um, but whenever, whenever I have a, a bad conversation, you know, I can tell from the get go. Um, sometimes the person looks at me and when they start saying those yes or no answers, I start, you know, broadening things, you know, uh, asking more questions or uh, talking about other subjects. And then, uh, you know, they're looking at the person behind me. Um, so at that point, um, you know, I definitely, uh, it's definitely some nonverbal side, uh, side of things. Um, but like I was reading in North in the in the chapter four for this week, um, you know, it's okay to to be um, vulnerable under pressure. Uh, that's one of the key points of communicating. You don't have the answers for everything, right? Uh, you don't need to know everything. But what you need to know is that you need to tell people, um, or what I would tell people is, teach me about the thing that I just said I don't know, right? I'm sorry for not being informed. Um, about your company or about a specific project that you guys are doing, but how about you tell me that way I can be informed and you know spread the message to others. All right, thank you guys.